In this video, I wanted to break down what happened last night in the Wizards game against the Pacers, why they're so successful, and how important Spencer Dinwiddie's paint touches are. So in this first clip, Dinwiddie's gonna bring the ball to the floor. Pacers are on man this possession. Um, the first thing that's gonna happen is Rattans is gonna kinda, sorta, set a pin down um, for Kyle Kuzma, but not really. And then he's gonna come set this high ball screen for Spencer Dinwiddie. Now, if you look at how TJ McConnell guards it, um, I would like to think that there was some sort of miscommunication between him and Duarte because it looks like he's trying to force him left, so maybe they were trying to weak the screen. Um, but obviously, Duarte, either Duarte didn't know that or McConnell was running the wrong pick and roll coverage here. Um, so it opens up a lane for Dimwitty to drive right to the hoop, as you can see right here. Um, McConnell's body is completely opened up, Dimwitty's already going downhill. Um, you have Contavious Caldo Pope in the strong side corner, so Brogdon is not going to help off there on the drive. So then the next guy who is going to help is Miles Turner. So Miles Turner is going to step up, and then you have Montrez Harrell in the dunker spot. So the pass gets thrown right there while Montrez, when um, Spencer Dinwiddie sees Montrez Harrell take a step up, and then Brogdon isn't there um, to sink yet. Um, whether or not he should have been there to sink is an interesting question because if he was there earlier, um, then KCP would have been wide open for a wide open corner three. Um, since KCP kind of um, starts his position a little bit higher, not deep in the corner, it's um, a longer way for um, Malcolm Brogdon to potentially help down on that pass. Um, so really, really good read by Spencer Dinwiddie to throw it like right when Miles Turner started to step up. Montrez Harrell, really good finish inside. In this next play, Indian is in the zone. You can tell they're in the zone because if you look at TJ McConnell, he's holding his fist up and that was the Pacers um, signal to run his own the whole game. So what's going to happen here is Montrez Harrell is just going to set a high ball screen. Um, the player who's in the middle zone is Miles Turner. He's going to come up um, because the Wizards spaced out. As this is going on, um, Breton is going to come set a back screen um, on Demontis a bonus. Um, nothing really happens out of that, um, but I thought that was important. So on, or Miles Turner is going to play a drop here. He's not going to be up to the level of three-point line as um, Spencer Dinwiddie comes off this screen. And then what becomes really important when um, you're playing a drop is the screen navigation. So if you watch TJ McConnell here, like he is not in a good position right there. Um, he ends up slipping and that's going to give Spencer Dinwiddie a wide open three right here because as you can see, um, Demontis bonus isn't stunting um, at the nail or anything like he's kind of just staying there. Um, and then Miles Turner is dropped that far back. So Dinwiddie's gonna pull up and that's how much space he has when he pulls up virtually a wide open look and he knocks it down. So on this possession, Pacers are in zone again, um, and the Wizards are going to run the same set. They're going to come run this high ball screen towards the middle. And then if you watch um, Malcolm Brogdon here, he is virtually doing nothing. I'm a little bit confused as to what he's doing. So he is standing here. He's not going to provide any help at the nail though. Like that is just no help. It's just letting um, Spencer Dimity go middle. Like if you're going to do that, at least be out on the shooter. Um, if you watch Rick Carlisle, he's out of He's kind of pointing to um, Dallas Rutan saying like not to let him get a shot off because the Wizards are down two that you don't want um, to give a wide open shot to the best shooter on the floor. But also by doing so, like the Montez bonus right now is splitting two on the weak or that on the strong side, but the weak side isn't going to help because there's, it's only a single tag on the weak side. So Sabonis so is splitting two and Malcolm Brogdon is in complete no man's land. But um, Spencer Dinwiddie does get a paint touch here, which is really important because as you can see, Kyle Kuzma does a great job of recognizing that. Um, he can see Demontis Sabonis is back, so he back cuts him right here. And then you look at Sabonis, he's completely out of the play right there. Turner recovers pretty well actually, but then a really really good reverse from Kyle Kuzma to get the bucket. I want to quickly go over this last clip. Um, basically, end of the game, they're going to double Dinwiddie because he's been so effective, so they're going to double him here. Get the ball out of his hands, Kuzma's going to give it back to Dinwiddie. They're going to double him again, and then ball gets back to Kuzma right here. Um, the Montez Bonus is not really in a position to guard Kuzma at all, so Kuzma attacks because, and he's able to, he's able to get a really good angle on the Montez Bonus because he was just doubling Spencer Dinwiddie, and crossover right here, and then he's by him right there. Sabonis is going to foul, send Kuzma to the line, and he's going to make one. So effectively, all the Wizards' points and overtimes were created from Spencer Dinwiddie's ability to get downhill and get into the paint. So I hope this video really helped outline why it is so important to get those paint touches in the NBA and why someone like Spencer Dinwiddie is so valuable. Thank you, and please like and subscribe.